Yo, Kelvin, why this shoot's gotta drag on and on and on? Get it? Drag on, dragon, razor naga. <sighs> Just play the intro. This week on Can You Game On It, we have something that's not so new, but you've never really seen it before. Last time, we reviewed the Razer Naga left-handed, and now we have the Razer Naga Pro. Why is it called Pro? Well, I'm glad you asked. Usually, when we see the Razer Naga, it's known for its 12 side buttons. So many buttons on the side here. ASMR. But, 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 Razer wants to cater to all sorts of gamers with this mouse. So instead of just the 12 side buttons, you can watch me decapitate this mouse and put another button inside. Isn't that easy? Yeah, so Razer actually gave us two more options of side buttons, which is really cool. One is the two side buttons, which you've seen on most mice on the market nowadays. And the other one is a six side buttons. So Calvin this morning asked me, Hey Tash, which one do you like more? Well, I'm glad you asked Calvin because none. I don't like all of them. I love all of them, and for a reason. So these side buttons differ depending on the game you're playing. Like for me, right now, I'm a big fan of the Razer Viper Mini, and that's my go-to mice at home right now, and it has two side buttons. So when I play games like Destiny 2, I like to put the melee as well as the grenade uh, shortcuts onto my two side buttons. But if you're playing something else, like say maybe you're playing League of Legends, and you're too lazy to move your fingers off the Q W E R and move it to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 button. That's when you have the six side buttons over here. Kerblam! So now imagine, number one, you have Zonia Stopwatch. Number two, you have Redemption maybe. Number three, you have the Locket. I don't know, whatever you guys do. Number four, you want to have your ward. Yeah, that's very useful. Now, if say you're a hardcore MMO player, then this is what you want. We already talked about this in the previous Razer Naga left-handed review, which is nice because when you equip this mouse, the key bindings are pretty much already made for the buttons here. You just have to press on the side here instead of having to reach all the way from number one till God knows number zero or dash button on your keyboard. So in the box, other than the three swappable side plates, you get a type A to micro USB port speed flex cable, which you can find on pretty much all Razer products right now. I didn't really get a chance to test the battery life on this mouse, but there is an indicator when your battery life is low, and it's when this mouse wheel blinks red twice in a row, then you know. You're almost out of battery. It's time to plug this baby up. But it does say that it takes about four hours for it to charge from zero to 100, which is not bad at all. Now that we've talked about what's in the box, let's talk about my overall experience using this mouse. Personally, this isn't really the mouse for me because I'm more of a fan of the lighter mice, which is why I went for the Razer Viper Mini. But for you guys who love bigger and heavier mice, this would definitely be the mouse for you because the weight does give you a little bit more control in your movements. Also, if you're playing a lot of different games like me, I'm sure you can appreciate this mouse as well because as I said before, you have something for hardcore MMO players. You have something for people like say who like to play maybe Dota 2 or even League of Legends. And you also have maybe something for an FPS player. It depends on what game you play, but overall there's something for everyone in this awesome box of goodness. There's a thing for everyone. Everyone now can enjoy the Razer Pro. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Razer, hire me as your brand ambassador. First, you gotta say Razer Naga Pro instead of Razer Pro. Razer Naga Pro. <laughs> now, another day, another golden question. Can you game on the Razer Naga Pro? Heck yeah, you can. Duh. It's a gaming mouse? Overall, it's a great mouse, but definitely not for me. I am a person with tiny T-Rex hands, which is why, as I said before, I'm a fan of the Razer Viper Mini. This one is a little bit too big, 
But if you have normal people-sized hands, I'm sure that you can appreciate this mouse. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook page. And while you're at it, watch as well just like all of our social media channels. I make TikToks weekly. Enjoy more cringe. And pew, 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 pew. Let's not let this video drag on and on and on. <laughs>